Hey everyone. So today we are going to do the calendar portion, and I say this in quotes, bullet journal, of my bullet journal. I really only use the calendar setup. If you'll see here, here's a glimpse of my August one. And so I really like just the calendar setup. I don't really use any of the trackers or anything like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so let's get started. Obviously you can see here I've kind of mapped out what I was doing. And we're just going to do the outline right now and then we're going to come in with some other things. Okay, so to do the outline, I use one of two things. Well, a couple things. Wrong. So I use, I make sure I always have a white eraser. They work better than the pink ones and it gets more of the little pieces off. I have just a regular mechanical pencil. This one's a Bic um, number two pencil with uh, the 0 0.7 lead. Here is a Sharpie pen. Nothing. There we go. Sharpie pen. And then there's the paper. I'll figure this out eventually. The Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel 0 0.7. Fun fact I used to absolutely hate these pencils, I, or pens. And um, I've actu I actually really like them now, and they work really well. But I did not, I never liked the gel pens like pins like this. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just go around my calendar pieces and I've got this all set up for um, September. So I will speed this up, that way you can watch it happen. Okay, so I'm going to outline, I don't know if you can probably tell, I've got trees coming up here behind since September, is um, brings in the first day of autumn, which is my favorite in case you didn't know. Um, so I'm going to outline the trees or the branches and stuff with um, this pin that I have here, this marker, and this is brown. They don't have colors on them, but this is the type of pen, the SR153, and it's a .38 millimeter.
All right, so for the days, since they dry a little bit, I'm gonna go in with this Crayola Super Tips um, yellowish. Um, it's not the brightest yellow, it's kind of like a dandelion yellow. Or a little, one of the dandelion yellows, I guess, in a way. Alright, for this next section, I've got my cup of water. I've got my Artist Loft watercolor set with my paintbrush that it comes with and obviously you can tell like I've used this quite a I love watercolor. It's my favorite. Alright, and so while I'm continuing, the reason why I have fall leaves and like trees and stuff, even though the colors, at least here in Virginia, they're not very prominent this type of time of year, but October, you know, is pumpkins, pumpkins galore. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm doing. these because September brings in fall and we know fall is the most beautiful if you couldn't tell by um, the crunchy leaf <laughs> my name so yeah that's why we're doing this but honestly I think this is turning out really cool looking and I'm very excited for this So we'll probably add some little pieces here and there, but overall, I think it's going to look really cool. And just like on my August spread that I showed you, I'm gonna do like a little outline around here. And I think that will look really, um, make it pop a little more too. <laughs> 